I'll show you the most effective way to attract ladies. You may make yourself more appealing to ladies and arouse their interests no matter what your interests are. I'm going to lay down nine guidelines. I need your undivided attention because every word I'm about to say is crucial. The inability to attract women is not necessarily related to physical attractiveness. You do not need to have a perfect appearance. In fact, I'd say that the most unattractive combination is a 10 with a 0 personality and a 6 with a 10 personality. Therefore, pay attention. First and foremost, always make a choice. Women appreciate men who can make quick decisions. Every woman desires a man who is in charge and makes the first move, so self-assurance is also crucial. For example, if he's taking a woman out to dinner, he has already decided where they'll eat rather than asking her what she'd like. Girls prefer a man who exudes self-assurance. Therefore, if you lack it, you can kiss her goodbye. So, even if you don't naturally exude confidence, try to muster some. Some women appreciate a man who is hesitant and maybe even shy around them. If she's timid, project confidence. If she's assured, play it down a notch. Stand tall, keep your head held high, and give her the direct eye contact she craves. Your body language is telling her that you are confident, courageous and deserving of her admiration. I wish I could tell you that you just wake up confident, which maybe some people can do, but for a lot of people, it is much tougher and needs much more internal battle. Confidence is not something that comes naturally, it is something you have to practice. The key to that, in my opinion, is loving yourself enough to know your strengths, interests and passions. This is a problem for a lot of people. Trust in yourself, ignore other people, and focus on your unhappiness. Therefore, self-assurance is crucial. Second rule, act like a gentleman, but not a nice person. Every man should strive to be courteous and kind. In my experience, true gentlemen never treat women poorly. Act like a gentleman, but not a pushover. There is a distinction between being a decent guy and a gentleman. A true gentleman and a decent guy are two different types of men. Sadly, many unhappy males wrongly assume that if they treat women with dignity and politeness, they will be left alone to spend their nights fapping in front of their computers. It's assumed that this move will have a negative impact on their chances of getting a date. Every true gentleman follows these guidelines, but in the end, he comes to believe that the polar opposite of gentlemanly behavior is the way to go. That's the slippery slope that leads some otherwise promising males astray down the path of extreme male chauvinism. In all honesty, I don't think you'd ever want to turn into one of those people. I truly pray that you will choose to join the ranks of the few genuine guys in the world. Some people will tell you that chivalry is dead, that you should be like a rock and not care about women, that you should chat less with her, and that girls love it when you offer them your jacket and open the vehicle door for them. Just remember that there is a thin line separating proper behavior and niceness. Many decent and heroic males will move over to make room for an elderly lady, open a door for someone, or carry a passenger's bag up the escalator. Every woman wants a man who is mature enough to respect her personal and social boundaries. I'm well aware that most women are perfectly capable of doing these things on their own, but I guarantee you that their hearts will melt if you do them for them. Open the door for her, Offer your jacket if she mentions being chilly, and generally just be a gentleman because ladies adore attentive men. A gentleman is hard to come by in this day and age, but do not confuse this with a lack of assertiveness. Third rule, have a good sense of humor. In my opinion, this is among the most crucial. You don't have to be the funniest person on the planet, but you should make jokes frequently. You have a wacky sense of humor or something. One of the best ways to make the most out of a difficult situation and to gain the affection and friendship of others around you is to be a good source of comedic relief. Being humorous can benefit you in any number of social situations, from making friends to winning over a crush. One's inventory of tools for navigating social situations is bolstered by a healthy dose of humor. Class clowning and the Joker act aren't natural talents most of us are born with, but they may be honed with practice. Possessing a strong and enjoyable sense of humor is a major attraction factor. It's not necessary to be the center of attention, but a strong sense of humor and the ability to make others laugh will go a long way 
toward making you someone people like to be around. Fourth, offer compliments. I'm not saying you should shower a female with compliments, but it's nice to do so every once in a while. You should compliment her as often as you can without becoming annoying. Scrutinize minute details and draw attention to them in an intriguing way. Basic things like her hairstyle, wardrobe, freckles, dimples, smile, and cosmetics application. It's hard to go wrong with a compliment. It's an endearing technique to make a woman feel like she's the only one in the world. I don't think this is meant as a physical compliment at all. Whether it's for her wit, her work, or her stellar performance on an exam, she deserves compliments. You should compliment her on something that isn't merely physical, as this will turn her on greatly. Five, try to arrive on time. This is a huge indicator that you are capable of juggling multiple priorities at once and that you value women highly enough to make time for them. Therefore, if you are on a date with a girl and you are an hour late, it suggests that girls are not important to you since people make time for things that are essential to them. And if women have a place in the category that is important to you, she will feel special. Punctuality communicates to a lady that you value her time and that you respect her by showing up on time for dates and other plans. We'll always find that irresistible. Keep in mind that while we may not be immediately turned on by your attractive qualities, we will notice if you are consistently late, so being late every day is something you should try to avoid. This is not a group of good folks. Being on time all the time has more appeal than you might imagine. One of the most crucial things you can do is to demonstrate to them that you can manage your time well. This brings us to point number six, tiddiness. Therefore, you are aware that you do not need to have perfect skin, but that you should at the very least be washing your body with soap and water on a daily basis. Maintaining personal cleanliness and caring for oneself. You have to focus on the specifics. You really need to visit the barber and get a trim. You should go brush your teeth right now. Get clean and put some deodorant on, please. Make an effort to look your best whenever you're around a female, but especially when you're meeting up with her or chatting on the phone or FaceTiming with her. As women find it quite attractive when men take care of themselves and appear healthy and well-dressed. You need to present your best self. Put in the extra work required to maintain a spotless appearance because it will boost your confidence and make you feel good about yourself. Keep your personal space, wardrobe, and vehicle immaculate. Those are all things that girls would find appealing. Hence, tend to your needs and maintain a clean environment. You will benefit more than you realize from paying attention to details like this. Seventh rule, don't back down from what you've said. This is crucial since your words are all that you have to offer the world. Because you don't want to be one of those guys who is all talk and no action, she needs to know that you'll follow through on what you tell her. Listen to what you're saying. It can be challenging at times, but failing to follow your word consistently will turn people off significantly. Keep your word, but don't make promises you know you can't keep if you're feeling unsure. Put your word where your mouth is, and if you can't keep your promise, don't make it. Just be a decent human being. Be the type of guy who always follows through on his commitments. As you can expect, it has a much greater appeal to females. Rule of thumb. This is an insider secret, perhaps even a little deceptive, but in no way malicious. Basically, you should just ask her to help you out. The Benjamin Franklin effect describes this phenomenon in psychology. If you ask a girl to do you a favor, she will. In her unconscious mind, she's become fond of you. Perhaps, though, you're wondering why this is the case. We subconsciously infer that we like the folks for whom we do nice things. Ben Franklin employed these strategies against his rivals and political opponents to win them over to his side. They called it the Benjamin Franklin effect since it was so successful. Additionally, a phenomenon known as the consistency bias, when someone has shown you favor on multiple occasions, they are more likely to continue doing so in the future. Ask for help with things like finding a pencil for class notes, passing out papers and running errands, but don't abuse her kindness. See you in the next video.